Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to uh, Naval Ops Worship Gunner's second playthrough. I'm still trying to get used to the new uh, intro because of the new Let's Play, but I got a lot of comments last time, not least of which is that my VLS missiles that I placed on the battleship are a little bit off. And I, I, I could have sworn they were right, but I guess not. <clears throat> um, in regards to the battle carrier, we are going to build battle carrier today. Uh, and about the X battle carrier... We, uh, they are just a little bit off, aren't they? Whoa, that didn't help. Okay, hold on. Here, there, and there. Is that better? That's better. There we go. See, there's this one square space here, and up here. There we go. So thank you for that. Okay, battle carrier. We're going to build a battle carrier. I got comments about how to get the actual X battle carrier, which is pretty much, for those of you who don't know, the biggest battle carrier in the game, and it's freaking amazing. So... Uh, to do that, we need the people are saying that I either need to kill 999 transports or get an S rank in mission C7, I think is what the comment said. I actually got it from a couple people, so thank you for that. Um, the transports is seeming more, more feasible, uh, but I mean, we can check our log, and this should tell us how many. Um, let's see. So we've already sunk 545 transports, so we're pretty good on the way there. I think I remember actually doing that in the very first Let's Play so I could get the Twin Hole Cruiser. But uh, yes, A4 is a mission that has a ton of transports in it, so that is a good opportunity to try and do that. So I would be more than happy to farm that off camera, of course, so you guys don't have to sit through that, but not today. Today we're just going to go ahead and build a normal air, uh, battle carrier, that is, um, and just see what we can do with it. So. Uh, we're gonna want the second one, of course. It doesn't have much more weight limit or even much more health, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. So, we're gonna want the new battle carrier, and I'm not gonna bother... Whoopsie. Whoa, 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 stop. Okay, I'm not gonna bother buying, uh, new weapons just yet, because I wanna see what we've got, uh, that we might be able to put on this thing. We might end up turning this into a railgun battle cruiser, or battle carrier, uh, because uh, we have a lot of railguns left over, a lot of extra railguns that we could be using, so I think we will be going uh, that route. Okay, so, armament. Well, let's look at bridges first. Uh, equipment, bridge. Um, I wonder if we can use an aircraft carrier bridge in this game like we could in Warship Gunner 2 uh, for a battle carrier. So let's go to equipment. Mm, oh, that's unfortunate. Looks like we might have to... Oh, no, no, here we go. Nice, okay. So, cruiser, or, not cruiser, carrier, forward type bridge. Uh, that one seems to be the best. Well, that's only one less control. A little smaller. Though size isn't a big deal for these. Um, I mean, what are the other stats here? Let's, let's check out. Uh, 16 and 4, respectively. And this one is 18 and 6. Okay, we're going with that one. Competition over. Okay, so we want a forward type bridge. There we go. Aft. Uh, I mean, no, it takes up precious deck space that we're really going to need. Load lift. I think we actually need at least one of these to be able to build this thing. I don't know if that rule applies to battle carriers, but I know that it applies to uh, normal carriers, normal aircraft carriers. Um, I've, we probably have an extra radar sitting around somewhere. Yeah, we have some extra sonar fives. We don't have an extra radar five, and that, I mean, 20,000 at this point of the game is nothing, so we will happily buy that. Uh, we don't have one of those, and we don't have one of these, but we might have, I'll wait on those, because we might have some higher level ones in reserve. These guys, um, I'll wait on them as well, because same thing, we might have some higher level ones than that in reserve. Engines, this is going to be interesting. Uh, this is also going to be the expensive part. Atomic engines. Oh, wait. Weight is going to be an issue. Hmm. Let's wait on that as well. But we do... We, we know we're going to want turbines, so we need to buy some turbines here. And let's... Uh, I Actually, I have a lot of these... Yeah, I have a lot of the good battleship boilers already, so we'll try those first and see how that goes. Aircraft, we will look at in a minute. Okay. No, no, no. Don't do that. Confirm. There we go. Uh, bye, yes please. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's start with equipment. Forward bridge, we want our carrier type bridge. Here, let's slow this all down. 
And put the... Um, armament. Okay, this is going to be an important part of this. But before I do that, let me see what we can do with all of these. Okay. Um, let me place one, whoops, one of each of these. Nope, not that. Just so that they're, like, down and I can just copy them whenever I'm ready to. But let's uh, start putting on some of these railguns. Preferably the tower rail guns. They're not going to be double file. Oh boy. Um, this is, it's going to be a very wide VP, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. This is an issue. I can't raise this up any higher. Um, right, about that. You see, huh. Very interesting. Um, I didn't know I couldn't raise these. Uh, this looks a little goofy, I agree, but at least it will probably allow us to fire backwards. To actually block the shot, I think it just matters that the gun is facing backwards. But we're gonna find out. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna find out when we get in here. Okay, so in the interest of testing, we will keep our engines in normal placement rather than shift placement and see if we don't get our engines knocked out as often or if we get them knocked out more often but we're gonna we're gonna test that since I remembered to there there okay and of course it would be my luck that all of these need to move over like this so the only way to know that your engines are in shift or normal placement is actually I think if you press start, nope, not start, select, no, uh-oh, uh-oh, back, okay, uh, there's gotta be a way, right, I know there's a way, R2, oh, oh, here we go, so placement standard, that's what we want, um, but I need to move all of these closer, like this, okay, so I got a bunch of engines on here, I'm gonna stop just for now, because we still need to have armor, uh, we definitely don't want to forget about that. So let's go 43. I think that's about what our battleship has. Um, but I can't remember. Maybe our twin hull battleship has that much. I can't quite remember. Um, what else is heavy that we want to get out of the way before we start stacking engines on here like a maniac? Searchlights are not heavy, but... Uh, equipment, auxiliary... There was something. Oh, yes, the load lift. That's the one I was thinking of that can be a little heavy. Oh, yeah, and it's going to have to go above the turbines, like so. So we'll put that there. And let's see, what else? What else can I do? All right, well, I guess for now we will find out how many machine guns we have. Um, Let's go buy some CWS, but before I do that, let me check what else I have. Ooh, a chain gun is a tempting thing to put on here just because we can, but, well, we well, we can't if we want to keep our rail guns, which I do. Yeah, we'll just go with the double rail gun. We'll just see how that works. Chain guns are good in this game and in Naval Ops Commander. Um, I will readily and openly admit to that, but, I mean, we have rail guns now, which, quite frankly, are more accurate as well. Um, we're going to definitely want to buy some anti-sub missiles. And as for the rest of this stuff, I mean, eh, I'm not real excited about any of this stuff here, so no, not really. Optical weapons, none of this stuff is, uh, we don't have like a wave gun or anything like that. So we need some more machine guns, CWS specifically, we need some more anti-sub VLS, and what else? I don't know. Oh, maybe some high angle guns? No, wait, we found out that high angle guns are not really worth it at this point of the game. Or wait, are we still using them? I'm trying to think which game it was we found out that they're just not really worth the, the time anymore. Um, okay, the CIWS are better. We have 19 of these, but let's just make it an even number. Like that. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Armament. by uh, Missiles. Going to need... At least four of those. <clears throat> Maybe even some of these. Like that. And what else might we want here? Optical weapons. No, nothing really special there. 
rockets, special machine guns, no, we definitely can't get any of those that are big enough to be worth worrying about. Um, let's go ahead and buy some of these as well, because I don't know if we're going to be able to put those on, but we have to try at least. Okay, so, armament, machine guns go in the second slot so that if I have to use a repair they can come back online ASAP. I mean, even the 35mm aren't that much better than the 25mm. Same load time, slightly more offensive power. These have a lot more ammo, which is nice. I have twice as much ammo per gun, which is great news. Okay, so we're gonna put those there, and then, whoops, and then we're gonna go... Probably want the... What do we want next? Maybe the anti-sub missiles? We're probably gonna have to be reaching for these pretty often. Uh, let's put some of them on the front, like this and that, and then can we put them like up here? Oh, we can. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, we can put them like really far out too. So, unfortunately, some things are probably going to be a little asymmetrical on this ship, just as the nature of, you know, this battle carrier goes. I mean, look, the whole thing is asymmetrical already, but... Uh, as long as it, like, flows nicely with the shape of the ship, I'm not actually... I, I think it'll look alright. I think it'll look good. Um, so, I'll do what I can there. Let's put the high-angle guns here, like this. Um, what's the button to... There we go. Nope, that's not it. Ah, that's the one. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, get some of these back here. And, okay, next. What am I doing? I need to copy these... Bring them back down. There. Okay, so I've placed all of my AA guns here like so, and I've got a couple of searchlights uh, here and here. And what else are we gonna do? Let's see, let's see. Uh, we need some anti-air missile VLS, which should be down here, of course. Anti-air missile VLS. What? Wait, what? Did I... How many did that say I have? I thought I only got six. Or I had one and I bought five, so I should have six. Oh, I, okay, I thought it said 16 for some reason. I lose my mind, okay, there we go. This, and that, and this, and down again, and there we go. So is that, that's six, right? So it should be out, yes, okay. That looks pretty good, I think. It follows the angle of the deck, mostly. So that, I actually like how that came out. That looked pretty cool, I think. Okay, let's see. Equipment, uh, engine, armament. Um, let's see, equipment. Oh, we should do auxiliary first because these can be a little heavy. So sonar five, <clears throat> radar five. What else we got in here? Firing delay system three, auto, auto load two and three, uh, which we can buy level four of both of those. So we're gonna go do that. Um. Lock-on sphere for increases accuracy and intercept mode. That sounds great, because we're going to need that if we want to actually be very accurate in the missions here. EM shield 1, electronic blocking 4, electronic blocking 5, emergency hull purge 2 and 3. Uh, I think we can do better than that. Hull purge 3, EM shield 1. I think we can do better than all of that, so let's go look at what we can actually buy here. Oh, I should mention, there will not be videos on Saturday and they might not there might not be videos on Sunday or they'll be late because I'm going away this weekend and yeah so no videos on Saturday I apologize maybe videos on Sunday but if there will be they will be late but uh, yes yeah, so Sorry about that. It was kind of a last minute thing, so I didn't have time to do a big batch recording, so that's why I, I can't do that this time. So I apologize, but uh, we'll be back at least Monday. At the very very worst case scenario, I will be back Monday, but hopefully I can put up some late videos at the very least on Sunday. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to want both of those. Of course, what else do we need? We need to look at defense here. Oh, oh yes, we can do this is much better. Um, what else? This would give us 26% hull integrity. That sounds awesome. Like, we want that. Fire extinguisher, eh, is useful, but enemy radar ability. What exactly increases enemy radar search ability? You know, let's try... Wait, we have we have one. A couple already. Okay. 
Uh, glad I saw that. I didn't have to buy it, and I almost did. Alright, that should be enough of that. Let's go ahead and put those on. I know we're spending a lot of time designing this thing, but I want to make sure that this is a very good ship. Firing delay system for auto reload system for defense, EM shield for, and oh, we're gonna have to pick here. Well, we're gonna go with the hull purge, of course. Um, so yes, okay, aircraft. This is where things get interesting because we have not upgraded aircraft very much. But you know what we can do is we can actually go. Whoops, we can actually go and get a little bit of aircraft research done now that we have a lot of money and the aircraft research is relatively cheap compared to you know the amount of money that we have at this point so we will do that we should at least be able to do one maybe two levels into it oh for sure okay well let's not get too crazy here but let's just go like that yes raise the heck level that looks like a bomber that looks like a fighter maybe that is either a fighter or an interceptor that's probably an interceptor. And same thing there. Okay, so we got some more modern-ish planes, jet fighter type planes. Um, so let's go back to the battle carrier and then from here we'll go to the purchase menu and see what kinds of really good aircraft, I say really good in air quotes of course, but um, first of all we're playing as the Germans and they don't have the best aircraft in this game other than the Halberds, but we're not at that point just yet. Um, so, yeah, generally in this game, um, America is where it's at as far as aircraft and aircraft carriers uh, and battle carriers go. So, let's look at um, bombers, I guess. What do we got for bombers? So, I assume one of these is better. Um, so, this one has way more, oh my goodness, but we only have one of them. Hmm, and it's not like the other games where... If we get shot down, we get it back. If he gets shot down, we're in trouble. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go, like, have one of those and have two of these. So we'll have some bombers. We'll probably want, uh, I'd probably, okay, fighters are the ones that have torpedoes and stuff. Um, I think I'd like to just have a lot of interceptors here. You know what I should do though before I get too into this? I should actually go look at what kinds of aircraft we can buy. That's probably a good idea. should have done it sooner. Bombers. Okay. We can buy. That one appears to be the best out of these guys. Um, well, maybe. Let's see. I'm able to make land strikes. Bombers. See, I don't know if I'd rather have bombers or fighters though. Let's have bombers instead of fighters, because fighters will get distracted by enemy aircraft, I assume, and I don't want that. If I want things attacking ships, I want them to attack ships, that's the point. Um, well, none of these guys can do night except for this dude, so we're going to take quite a few of them. So, obviously, we want those guys. Scouts, uh, we have anti-sub weaponry, so we're fine there. Holy cow, we have a lot of interceptors here. Wow, okay. So, so far those two are the fastest, uh, 960 is the fastest, there's a 950 there, okay. Speed is a big deal on interceptors, of course, you don't want them getting shot down too quickly. Let's see what you have, 30mm area machine gun, anti-air rocket shell, that sounds awesome. And you have the same thing, but you're faster, and you have, oh, I have six of them in my inventory, I get it, okay. 30 millimeter air machine gun. So you're definitely faster. What do you have, sir? You're just a tiny bit slower. Uh, I can't like see all of the details on these guys. Well, you know what? Let's buy ten of them and buy four more of these guys and buy. Actually, no, we don't need to buy them because it's the really comp. The, the competition is really between the 163 and the 263. So we'll just buy them. Um. Fighters and scouts, I'm not too worried about. So, okay, there we go. Confirm, purchase, yes, please. Okay, uh, aircraft. Our bombers, we're probably going to keep because they are almost certainly the best bombers that we have right now. Yeah, because these have guided bombs, which is great. So we'll keep them until they get shot down, but once they get shot down, we'll be using the MB-262B. For our interceptors, we want to check on these guys. So you have 160 endurance, you have 320. Oh my goodness. And we have a bunch of these guys that are pretty good, but compared to these dudes, well, you know, 
So ammo 108, respectively 104, respectively. So these ones are just a little bit faster, but they have half the endurance. No, airborne endurance. So what's the difference? Airborne endurance and endurance. I assume one of those is range and one of those is health, but I don't know which is which. Uh, well, either way, this one has more of endurance and airborne endurance. And it has twice as many rocket shells, but only half as much ammo for, or half as much salvo for the machine guns, but twice as much salvo for the rockets. The rockets are probably very useful. Uh, the other stats for the weapons are the same. I think we'll be using these guys, and we'll get five of them. Okay, there we go. We have our aircraft set up. We have our systems. We have our equipment. We have our engines. We have our armament. We have our defense up here at 43 centimeters of armor plating. We could either buff this to 46, which makes us really, really slow, and I don't want to do that. I say really, really slow. It's still 45 knots, but I'm not that patient. So <clears throat> we will do this use the rest of our weight to stack boilers like a maniac just because we can ah I could put more in the front but if you know having a bigger engine makes it more likely that they get knocked out I think this is big enough this is already taking up about half of the ship or more so I think that is our battle carrier and that took most of the episode thankfully this next mission is not very long if I remember right because this is the one that has all the transports in it, so it's pretty straightforward if I remember correctly. But thank you for all the comments on the last video. Uh, we got like, at last count, we got like 15 comments on the last video. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. So thank you for all that. And now let's get into the briefing. Area A, mission four, duck shoot, sink 15, enemy transports. Reading communication from mission command. We request that you sink enemy transports. In retaliation for breaking the blockade they had on us, the Empire has decided to bombard the cities under our control. Airstrip construction is underway to enable enemy bomber aircraft attacks. Put an end to this aggression. Attack and sink the transports which are supplying the materials to build these airstrips. Spy ops predict this route for Empire transport ships. Prepare to get underway. Good luck. All right, let's do this with the new battle carrier, baby. Let's see how these tower railguns behave as well with auto reload system four. Okay, back from everybody's favorite black screen glitch with more joystick issues. Okay, so they definitely fire faster. These railguns. I cannot. Uh, stop joystick. Oh, yeah, hold on, I gotta fix this okay there we go nice oh wait let's try not to use intercept mode and see how our accuracy does there we go lots of missiles and torpedoes and everything here but well you know I'm not so worried about trying to get an S rank, per se, I just want to see if we can get the accuracy rating to be much higher. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I need to fudge. Launch air flight. There we go, I'm messing up the buttons because I'm forgetting that uh, X does not like select your weapons in this game, it actually just fires your weapon rather than, you know, the circle button in the other games. So I missed one shot. Get him. There we go. I'm um, this is the parts crate by just a just a couple inches. Okay, there we go. Let me think, where are most of these ships going? I think most of them are going to the right. To the east, I mean. Take me using simpleton terms when I know the better terms. What is wrong with me? Ooh, survivors. I need them. Anti air alert. Anti air alert. Say what? Since when? I don't remember there being an aircraft carrier in this mission. And again, it is the second playthrough, so. We sunk a ship. Nice Enemy job, ship aircraft. Alright, that was easy. Of course, we're going to come back in here and keep going. Target destruction confirmed. Let's go ahead and finish that off before we just sort of sail into nothingness. There's another... Oh, that's a funds crate. I thought it was a parts crate. That's why I was so concerned about getting it. But no, it was not. Another parts crate. 
here, and another one there. Parts crates are very good on EL2, so we want them. Okay, there are a lot of transports trying to run away here. Let's try to get them before they can do that. Hopefully. What is... Stop hitting me. I can barely see what I'm shooting at. Stop it. What is hitting me so badly? What in the world? I think these torpedoes are definitely hurting, but are they really hurting that badly? I mean, jeez. There, okay. We got them taken care of. Now what in the world is killing me? Is it just these darn torpedoes? I can't barely see, and it's lagging as usual. Something is hurting us really badly. I think it's all the missiles and torpedoes that they're using. So this is why I'm kind of tempted to just stick to my... Oh my goodness. Stick to my uh, cannons instead of the railguns. They just don't quite do enough damage. And I really wish I knew what was killing me so quickly. I can't see what is going on. There's just way too much happening. It's got to be these torpedoes, right? Like, it's got to be. But if I am paying attention, like I am now finally, I might be able to actually start dodging some of these. But not when they're launched at that kind of range. Okay, get that parts crate. Ram him unintentionally. Oh, thank goodness for your health crate, sir. Ah, that was a big health crate. And I really needed that. Alright, a couple more transports here. Oh, I missed. I would miss there. Alright, so we had pretty good accuracy there with our cannons. Where the heck is the aircraft carrier at? Because I really want to get rid of that thing. Ah, it's over there. Oh, escorted by a bunch of really big, angry, laser-based ships. Of course. I need to, I need to like, actually aim. That's what I need to do. Oh, I can't barely see anything with these lasers going off. These, these enemy lasers. Need to grab these survivors before they sink. I just saw something sink over there. I don't know what that was, but hopefully not. I think it was a crate of some sort, but I don't know what was in the crate. I don't expect to get a high ranking here. I just want to see how the accuracy does now that I know that we've hit most of our shots. Oh, look at all those survivors over there. Holy cow. We're down to five aircraft. I don't know what my interceptors are up to. Ouch. Stop that. I need to just get these survivors. Look, I'm trying to save your men. Okay, you think you'd let me do that? Now, okay, now the aircraft have guided torpedoes, apparently. That's not cool. Uh, wow, these ships are a little far away. Hello. Oh, it's more of these guys. These guys aren't too scary. They do have a lot of health. Especially for this weapon that is not doing a whole lot of damage. Oh, I see. It's not 3,000 damage per hit, it's 3,000 damage per turret. 15,000 damage per hit. That figures. Ah, uh, well, it was a nice try at least to make these things work for us, but this is not nearly enough damage. And having multiple doesn't let them all fire at the same time. And. Yeah, just, I mean, maybe with a really, really, really good auto-reload system, maybe. But the other ones are good, because the the, the the normal rail guns are a lot better, because they do 5,000 damage, um, as advertised, which is nice. These ones, well, not quite, unfortunately. Uh, so, we will be probably sticking to the big rail guns on the twin hull battleship and keeping most of our 61 centimeter guns for engagements such as this where we are close enough to reliably hit the target with the with the cannons um, and that will just allow us to do more damage at close range than you know this there's a comment about whether or not I'd be switching out to just using the railgun the tower railgun since I have so many of them uh, based on this no simply because they don't fire fast enough and they don't um, they don't do enough damage and again having multiple doesn't mean I can fire uh, multiple at once which is kind of a huge problem so yeah oh well 
So that's a funds crate. I don't see any survivors with it, though, so I think we're good in that regard. We need to go to the southeast to find... It looks like that's where the, the enemy uh, aircraft are coming from, so... Let's just call my planes back before we lose more than we have to. <clears throat> but I'm guessing, yeah, there's the aircraft carrier right down there. That's not what I'm, what? I'm, I'm trying to, aim, no, aim at the aircraft carrier. There you go. Let's go and take some pot shots. That guy, what is, what? Get him. What in the world? Fire. Why? That one went through it. Like, the other ones just fell short. But, there we go. Okay, well, there goes some more of my accuracy. And some more. As I fail to shoot a plane out of the sky. There we go. I need to remember that, uh, you know, it's a railgun, so the projectile's nearly instant. Okay, well, there's that. Let's uh, sail out of here and see how we did with decent accuracy without ever using intercept mode. We didn't get engine damage that game, I don't think, but we did get some flooding. But it's gonna take more than one battle to know for sure whether or not standard placement is actually the answer to engine damage. Objective achieved. Depart this sector. Yes, please. Enemy transports have been repelled. For the moment, the threat of bombardment has been neutralized, but the enemy has surely not abandoned the option. Come to think of it, I might try to live stream on Sunday if I get back soon enough. Uh, rather than trying to record videos and put them up late, I might just do a live stream of uh, something. Maybe sur maybe we'll start survival mode in Worship Gunner 2, possibly? Maybe. I'd like to live- I'm, I've, I've done the two live streams now, and I'm actually- I really like doing the live streams. I didn't think I was going to when I when I did, like, when I was thinking about doing my first one, I was like, ah, I don't know if I'll like live streaming. I love it. It's great. It's so much fun. Got a ton of parts crates that mission, as you saw. 90% whoa wow did not expect that bonus reward is pretty cheap though all things considered but still like that's amazing 60 centimeter rocket launcher that's a big rocket launcher but eh. wait we got all of the survivors I could have sworn we probably missed at least one because you know our planes were killing stuff that I wasn't paying attention to I was killing stuff that was really far away from me and I wasn't paying that much attention to but Incredible, incredible accuracy, as promised by the railguns, which is a great thing. So, there we go. Nice. But, um, yeah, we will not be using tower railguns, I don't think, unless we can get, like, a ridiculously high-level auto-reload system, which we don't have right now. We have four on this one. We have, I think, five on the Twin Hole Battleship, which isn't a huge in uh, improvement, so... Tower railguns... Meh. Eh, yeah, I don't think we'll be sticking to those. But anyways, that will do it for this episode of Naval Ops Warship Gunner's second playthrough. That is kind of a long title, I know, but I still have to get used to it, so bear with me on that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.